All right, so uh, I was basically kind of uh, I was basically kind of asked to make a video of how I kind of start my Age of Empires 2 games, like what I do in the Dark Age and uh, how I transition to the Feudal Age and what to do after that. So basically, I wanted to just <clears throat> make a video, just showing like what I do in the beginning and how I'm able to advance like pretty quickly um, so I'm basically using the Byzantines because they don't really have any special uh, like um, attributes for like their villagers that make them like carry stuff faster or anything like that. I was gonna use Britons but I, I read that they uh, the shepherds work 25% faster so what I'm gonna show like might be a little bit different for that just because it happened this because they're getting food a little bit faster but for byzantines you know they're like kind of neutral on that so i mean based on whatever civilization you have you know it might go a little bit differently depending on how much stuff they're getting but I mean, before i wanted before i started i wanted to just basically say uh, a few things first of all uh, i want to talk about the most important unit in age of empires 2 so the most important unit in the whole game from beginning to end basically the most important unit so what is this unit you know you might think oh what is it you know the scout cavalry is it this is it the scout cavalry you know am i uh so i can scout my opponent see what he's doing is, is it you know the paladin you know the really powerful unit what what could it be like uh is it the monk to get relics okay no it's none of that so basically what what it actually is <clears throat> i actually don't know if they have it here oh yeah the town center yeah so it's the villager. Villager is the most important unit in the whole game because it's basically the basis of your economy and the basis of literally everything you see here. Like everything else here, it all comes down to the villager and and also houses as well it's because you, you need to uh, have houses to you know, obviously make more villagers. But yeah, the villager is the, villager is the most important unit in the whole game. So uh, I think I read online that like in most games, you should have as many villagers uh, as half of your population. So, uh, for example, if, uh, let's see. So if you have a population, max population of 200, then you should have around 100 villagers uh, maximum or minimum, actually. So that's uh, because it's just you, you just you can't really do anything unless you have villagers getting stuff. I mean, it sounds pretty simple when you say it, but like a lot of times I feel like we get you know caught up in you know just our armies and maneuvering and everything and we kind of forget to build villagers like you know in a feudal age or a castle age or anything like that uh but yeah you gotta just be making villagers basically the whole game until you reach maximum population that's basically I mean, that's basically what i do i keep on making villagers until i literally can't anymore so yeah that's pretty important so so uh, like you'll see literally the first thing i do when i go into a game is i start making villagers and my town center is usually all it's doing. I'm I'm either I'm either um, researching something or I'm building villagers. So, I mean, if you look at top players, that's what they do. I'm not a top player by any means, actually. But uh, I'm not, I don't even consider myself to be like intermediate. Um, but what I do, like when I'm playing with friends or family, I you know I just make sure I'm always building villagers, and that's kind of like i used to play a lot of starcraft 2 a lot and you know that's what they say in that game too is keep making workers so yeah so basically um i mean my base i mean you'll see uh, i'll basically show what i do in my games and uh i'll go first i'll go through it slowly and with like a standard ai so they don't like bother me and um and then i'll go then i'll go through it again but like at my usual speed that i do like a normal game and i have a real map as explored just because that's what I usually have it when I'm playing with uh, friends and family. So, uh, yeah, so I guess I'll just start. Um, well, so, so basically, the the game plan, I guess, is basically right when you start the game, you get your vill you start making houses immediately, and I'll show it. And you start making villagers, and then you, you basically focus on food for a little bit, and then you get wood, a little bit of wood, and then you get the two boars. So boars are really important. You gotta get boars. And once you kill the second boar and got enough food to advance, you just start advancing, and then that's when the game kind of starts. So, so I'll just start. So yeah, I'll be going through it pretty slowly, so I won't be like overwhelming. So yeah, so basically I start building a villager. I use hotkeys usually, so I'm pressing uh, A to build a villager, 
and uh, to build houses I press A and then uh, oops, A and Q and I take this other villager and build a house too. So I basically have two villagers building one house and another villager building this house. So I take this villager that comes out and I start getting the sheep. And oh yeah, see I'm already I'm already messing up because I'm not building villagers. So so you should always have villagers just being created here. So these villagers are done building, so they're gonna get you know you know you look at the sheep. I'll take this villager to get like the sheep over here. And just basically focusing on the sheep right now. So uh, I have like a you know um, what's it called? Uh, Let's go, gather point so that they'll just start getting sheep. Um, so basically, I like to use hotkeys a lot. So I'll register my town center as four and my sack valley as three. So if you look, I have, there's a four here uh, and there's a three here. So so make sure I keep building villagers. So I'm pressing A. Uh, and at around, so at around when you have eight uh, right here, when you have eight villagers, oh, actually, I made a mistake already. Uh, I'm not usually going this slowly, so but your eighth village, your seventh villager actually, because that's the seventh villager should be getting wood. So the, and then you get three people just getting wood. So whoops. So I like the garrison like that, and see I'm already, you know, you gotta keep making villagers. Uh, usually I like to get my Skaka Valley and just, you know, just scout on the map. So you can press Shift and then right click on the map. And it'll set some uh, points to where it should go, and then if you right-click again, it'll that's where it'll go after it's done. Um, yeah, so we have wait, how many? One, two, three. Yeah. So after, so after we have three villagers um, getting wood, the next villager will go and get the boar. So basically, you're uh, at, at eleven population. You should get wood. And, I mean, not, not wood. The boar. And this is a little bit tricky, so basically you hit him twice and then you just go back. Uh, and since I don't have Bloom yet, uh, um, this villager could die, but you just have to protect it and focus the other villagers on the boar. And it should die, and then you get it. And so actually I took one person who was on wood and put it on the thing. So, so basically after that, um, just keep making villagers. So right now you'll see like I'm at 33 and I can't make any villagers right now, so that's actually your problem. Because, you know we have to always be making builders so actually I'm gonna take a few of these builders and just force them to give back the food they have and then go back so now I have food to build a builder again and so we'll check on our Skaka Valley go back so at around 13 you know you, you're getting close to your population limit so you should start you know just building the house here and again we're you know we're not we're not making builders so we gotta fix that let's go back so now we have two builders being made. Um, pick another one too. So yeah, so that's so we're good with that. So now once we get to 18, then we'll build another house. Oops. So just you just continue to make keep on making builders. That's the important part. All right, so we killed the first boar. So actually, I'm gonna take all the take most of these builders into that. And now we're gonna find the second boar. Actually, and we'll get a different builder because this one is. Uh, uh, low on health. So you know, while I'm doing all this, you just keep on pressing, you know, four occasionally, just to keep on checking that you have like one villager being made and, a, and at least another villager being queued up behind it. So even when, like when I'm controlling this villager, oh, that happens sometimes. So you need to be able to bring the boar back. So uh, I'm checking, make another villager. All right, take these villagers and attack the boar. Alright. <clears throat> Scott again with the Scott Valley. So yeah, so we're actually at 18, so this guy needs to build the house. <clears throat> and these people are done. So I guess what is it? There's nothing there's nothing else here to do. So actually I already messed up. Uh, I was supposed to build a forge bush as I was getting the boar. So whatever. I'm not used to going this, you know, slowly on it, so. So you see, like we got population blocked a little bit there, so because I, I built, I started building the house a little late. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, I think we're kind of good. Uh, basically, at this point, at around 20, you know, you can build a mining camp here. I haven't gotten like my build order completely fleshed out yet, you know. So I, there's a little variance between like what I would like to do. It's so actually, I'm gonna bring this person back here. All right, so I got a little bit, you know, a little bit underneath the amount of food I wanted to get after the two boars. So 
at around like 21 or 22 I like to start advancing so I'm gonna stop actually building uh, villagers now and just wait until I get enough food because I think I kind of messed up my build order a little bit but it's okay uh, so actually I'm trying to look for deer let's see ah there's deer here so I'll bring a few villagers because there's like way too many here and just uh, build a mill over here and just check on you know your idle villagers so yeah we have enough to advance so we're gonna advance now and okay this guy's also scouting I didn't even find out where he was where is he he should be around here somewhere uh, but okay but we're I mean the scouting is not that important right now I'm just, just showing uh, oh whoops yeah, so I also mess up here. So, oh, I mean, you should return your food, your stuff first. But basically, there's already a lot of things going on here. So I'm having trouble talking. I'm not used to talking as I play like this. But uh, I was supposed to build this lumber camp like a while before, but I kind of didn't. So, uh, okay, there's a boar, but it's okay. I researched loom, so I should be able to take it out. And so after you kill a boar, I think she should automatically get the deer. Yeah, she should. I have this sheep here too, so we'll bring that here. You guys can get that sheep. So you have to kind of like be flexible with the, uh, you know, what you're doing. But but yeah, we're building. Oh, see, I messed up again. I uh, usually when I'm when I'm going to feud ledge, I like to just build a barrack so I can quickly, you know, build archery ranges and try to make like a small army. But you see, like I basically advanced at the same time as he did. I mean, I was going kind of slow, so. It's kind of why but so yeah i'm gonna register the barracks as six on my keyboard so whenever i hit six it hits the barracks and goes back to town center uh after i advance to the feudal age i usually just research wheel wheelbarrow um so yeah so the feel are done so i need to build archery rangers but i don't have, i don't have enough uh wood so i'm going to bring these people over to wood so basically you know you gotta like prioritize what resources you need most so right now I'm gonna I'm gonna need a lot of wood and uh, a little bit of gold too at the same time. So, uh, but we're getting a lot of food, so that's good. Um, basically, my my main priority right now is to build archery ranges so I can launch some kind of uh, attack on the my enemy. But I don't actually know where he is. But yeah, see, we're gonna keep on flipping back to our town center, and right after it's done, we start making villages again. And we're reaching our population limit, so you know. Oh, here we go. Here he is. Oh, here he has a market thing. Um, so this person actually is gonna go over here and you see how I'm like flicking back in between just to see uh, what's going on okay so oh I accidentally right clicked there just okay so you see like they're mining gold here so that might be a point of attack later on uh, so this person I'm gonna actually build uh, some archery ranges right here and I'll plan on building two and we're gonna focus on wood right now because we need wood uh, I might transfer a, a couple of villagers over to gold because we'll need gold as well. But yeah, continuously just making sure we have villagers being produced here. Oh, what am I doing? Oh. Alright, so yeah, so we know we have this, he has this gold here. His town is probably over there. Uh, he already has a market. I, I'm not sure what military units he has. Um, let's see what military he has. So he, he could ring the, the freaking, what's it called, the bell right now. Oh, so he just built the barracks. So that might be his first one. So he might he might not have uh, units for a while, but he has a blacksmith, so he could be upgrading. Uh, he didn't get any of his boar. So okay, and we have uh, mining camp with no mining here. So I'm gonna just pull back my guy. So, uh, um, see see during that you know you can get sidetracked a little bit. I'm still not that good at multitasking, but um, basically so this is five. And I'll register that as five as well once it's done. So I'm gonna start building archers. And you see, there you go. That's a classic mistake. Not looking at my, spending too much time in my Skakovai, not looking at my population. So I'm gonna just quickly try to build houses here. Probably four villages is too much, but yeah. But basically, you know, he doesn't really have much army right now. So if I can build something really quick, so I register both these as five. Oh, he's stacking my builders. So I'm gonna just ring the dub, ring the bell, and. Alright, so he already advanced the castle. So he's oh I think that's why. So basically he uh 
focus on his uh, economy more than his military, so he doesn't have many units. But he has, uh, oops, he uh, his economy is pretty strong right now. I mean, he's focusing his economy on just going to the castle. That's what I meant. Yeah. So, so again, we're gonna need some more wood here. So, and we need more houses. So these people are building houses. So it's good. Alright, so we're gonna try to build skirmishes on this one. So actually, so if you select both of them like this, you can just press A, 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 and then it'll build archers on like both of them. It'll go like build archer here, build archer here, build archer here, like that. So it's our army right now. Uh, I'm gonna build some more houses actually. Yes, these we're really low on wood right now, so we're gonna just focus completely on wood right now. See, like, your resources should always be, like, really low like this. Because if your resources aren't being used, then it's not really much, you know, use. So, and then we continue making units. I'm just kind of randomly creating them. I don't really have, like, a strategy or purpose. I should actually probably build a, a blacksmith as well. Uh, but, yeah, see, I'm already kind of behind. I'm going kind of slow, so. Uh, so, I'm going to scout again and see what kind of stuff he has. And see if I should attack or not. I'm not going to play, like, a whole game, but... I oh, said so these people are kind of done with making houses, so I'm gonna bring them back. Uh, actually, I'm gonna build a blacksmith, uh, and then you know keep making. Oh, one thing I forgot. So I usually like to make this. I should know this infantry. So this counts as infantry, right? I'm not even sure. Skirmishes count as infantry, so I think this is good to get. Yeah. Oh yeah, I go like this. And yeah, see, I didn't. I'm not making villagers, so. Uh, let's see. So these people are all done. Yeah, they, they've been probably idle for a long time. I, I kind of just forgot about them. So that's also, you know, you got to be on top of that. Uh, I don't really see much f other food sources. So I was being attacked somewhere. Okay, so they had their own attack here. So he has crossbowmen already. So that's kind of scary, but it's okay. We'll get rid of it. Uh, I guess I'll bring this field to gold. And yeah, these people should be able to take care of these people. Uh, actually, let's look this. Oh, yeah, so they actually went back. That's interesting. Um, he might be trying to get this relic. I don't know. Right, so we're getting close to population limit again. So I'm gonna build houses here. I'm at this point. I'd like to have like a dedicated person. Just getting uh, houses. I'm gonna research fletching, fletchling for my um, blacksmith, and I also forgot to get a market as well. So yeah, so, I mean, after I get the few late things, get kind of you know random. I just wanna like try to launch an attack. So, actually, I might bring people down here then. Because it's always good to keep your opponent on their toes. And I'm not being villagers, so that's a problem. I have more people over here, so I'll select them uh, in another control group and bring them down. So I have two control groups. And you see, like, if I'm just continuously making stuff, you know, I'm gonna have, like, we'll be able to have big armies like this. Uh, so we're really high on wood right now, so I'm gonna just transfer, start transferring people on uh, food. So I'm basically just when people come out, I'm gonna just put them on food. And yeah, see, gotta be on top of this. All right, so we're gonna sort of attack. Uh, what they have here? Go back. Okay, so he has army here, but we'll focus one on villagers, one on the army. Uh, so he has kind of a lot more people than I thought. So, so he has crossbowmen, so that, that has an advantage. Uh, but see, like, I'm just continuously trying making builders as I'm going through this, um, and you know, going back and forth. Uh, his units are a lot better than mine, so I actually might not win this battle. I might have to go back, but uh, select them all again. Yeah, keep creating builders. All right, so yeah, we're really low on food actually, so. Uh, I'm gonna research this. Oh, I can't. Okay, I'm just gonna queue up farms here. Um, okay, let's keep making units, keep making builders. All right, and our army has been kind of wiped out, but that's fine. You know, we were able to do like some damage. I already have like a small army already been formed again, so so I'm not that worried. Okay, so he might be going for that relic. So I'm gonna put some units over here. I should just hold them. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Since we're making villagers, makes people making farms. I'm gonna put the thing over here now. Um, this person should make more houses. All right, let's get this. And I wanted to research this. I don't have food. 
I don't like buying um let's kill this guy. Alright, this person's gonna do something. Let's just get rid of him. And so there are that, okay. We're good. He's been in the castle age for a while now, so I'm gonna kinda scared. But um Don't see what else he has. He's a monastery, yeah, he has a lot of good stuff here actually. Yeah, see while I'm doing this is keep on making villagers. Um I think my yeah, the guy died. But uh let's see. Yeah, he has he's a lot of good units, this thing. I can't upgrade my units right now. So I'm just kinda of building like the same stuff here. Oh keep building houses. And I'm gonna research this and this. Okay. I need to research this a long time ago, but I didn't. But yeah, okay. I mean that's kind of enough, honestly. I mean this guy. So I like to the way I advance to the castle age, like I usually never have enough resources. I don't know if this is good practice or not, but I usually just you know, because you need 800 food, so I just buy like as much food as I need, and then I just sell my wood, which kind of messes up my market already in the beginning. But I can also, if you really need to get there quickly, you can sell stone as well and just buy some more food. So now we have enough, so we can just do that. So I mean, that's kind of how I usually do it. Um, I don't know if that's actually the right way, but. I'm gonna just uh, push again. It's always good to be like you know out on the map just doing stuff, because you know because when you're attacking them, oh, just keep making people. So you know I'm just making people here. Um, when I get to the castle age, I like to make another town center. So, but I won't really show that much after the castle. Age. So let's keep making sure we don't have any idle villagers. Uh, just people here. We got rid of them. Um, this is actually a tough place to attack because he has two energy mages here, so they're gonna be coming out really quickly. But I just want to just mess up his gold. Um, just keep making people while I'm doing this. Uh, let's see, he has there's this attack here. Why did they not attack? The hell? Oh, I need houses. Oh, he has a lot. Wow, that's actually kind of scary. Okay, actually, I'm gonna leave. So he has uh, actually a ton of people, but so um, I mean, so if you want to, I mean, then you need to kind of think about like, you know, okay, he has a lot of archers now. What should I do to combat that? I mean, you could use siege, siege uh, people and stuff like that, and then you know, the game kind of just moves on from there. I like to research these things right after, I guess, but basically, yeah, I'm low on houses again, but basically, that's how I get you know to the castle. You know, I just you know, just focus on making builders military units you know so even if he does attack me you know I, i'll be able to kind of defend pretty well especially with my town center and the bell and i have units here i have units here and if i upgrade my get, get rid of these and, I, and if i upgrade them you know i have crossbow men too so now i'm the same uh research as him and i think he's trying to i don't know what's going on there but yeah okay i'm not gonna i'm not, I'm not really doing much now i'm just trying to just, i'm gonna leave but I mean, yeah, that's basically how I kind of go. So now I'm gonna just go through it like a little bit faster. I might not talk as much, but I'm gonna try to, you know, just do it as if I'm playing like an actual game. Um, yeah, actually, I'm gonna pause the recording right now just to see like if it's going good. Actually, I'm gonna. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna stop the record. Uh, actually, what am I? I guess I mean. Cause I, I want to see how my recording was. I guess I'll stop it and then I'll make it. All right, I'm back. Um, yeah. Okay. I mean, just another disclaimer. You know, I'm not like a, like a, you know, strong player. I mean, I just try to focus on the basics. I'm not like you know. If you want to look at like people who are really good, I would recommend looking at like the Viper. Um, he's like one of the people I know who's like pretty good. And actually, I, I kind of learned how to like this, just how to play the early game from watching him. Um, but yeah, okay, so I'm gonna just play as I would normally do, so I might not talk as much, but just try to show you how it all goes together, so. Yeah, so, here we go. Oh, Saracen's again, though.
I mean, I, <clears throat> you just might see I'm kind of like spamming a lot and doing stuff. It just gets me warmed up for like the full game because once once this game actually really starts, you're moving a lot. So. So I'm basically trying to find him uh, right now, and I'm basically gonna focus on getting this boar. You see, I'm like really trying to get villagers making because you know, if you don't have villagers being made here, it's like really bad. So you gotta really focus on getting that. Hit him twice, go back. All right, let's get these villagers here, and uh, I'm gonna attack these people. Oh, this guy might die. Uh, okay, we're good. Alright, 13 builders, so we're gonna build on the house. Uh, let's just focus this so we can get builders. And okay, I, see, I, I think I saw him. He might be here actually, because there's two boar here. Let's go there. I didn't really find him. Uh, oops. Okay, so now I'm gonna build a mill. This might be a little bit different from what I did, but you know. So we're not getting food, so we need to do this. Alright, so now we have villagers. Okay. Right, let's see. It's not here actually. Alright, so if you are done, so I'm gonna put them on the sheep again, take this person, go here. I accidentally made that go there, so uh, let's see. Okay, and I'll make sure this villager doesn't die. So, oh, this guy is always there. Oh shoot! Okay, forgot about that. All right, let's make sure. All right. Oh, she's almost dead. Shoot. Very good. Good. That was just kind of scary. All right, I'm gonna build a lumber camp. Uh, these are here for some reason. Let's continue. Oh, we gotta make a house actually. It's very important. Actually, put two people on that. I kind of, I think I lost a little bit of food there, but uh, it's okay. Uh, I'm gonna build a lumber camp, uh, mining camp, and we're gonna put you back on here. Keep making villagers. Um, okay, I don't know where he is still. Where is he? We have a hideout villager. Oh, I will drink it. So where am I putting my people right now? I'm putting them up there. Okay, that's fine. Uh, he's building that. Okay, good. I don't know where he is. It's kind of scary. Okay, so we have 21. Um, after this board is done, I think we should be able to advance. Uh, okay, we're a, little, we're a little bit under. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. Oh, I, I think with the Britons, I like adva I usually I'm used to advancing like right after I kill the other boar, uh, just because of um, I think the shepherds they gather more food. So I'm gonna be such bloom. I'm gonna stop making villagers because I'm already at like 23. That's already enough for Dark Age. Let's build another house. Um, let's see. so I'm kind of a little bit I'm a little bit high in wood, so I'm gonna just build a uh, barracks right now. Actually, I usually build it while I'm advancing, but. Okay, so we have 500. I should have been looking at that. Okay, so we have a barracks. Put that at six. We're gonna build another house actually now, and we're gonna focus on wood after a few days. So put uh, that under there, and let's actually bring another person over to get gold. And can we just find the enemy? I haven't even seen. Oh, right here. Oh, he's like really far though. There. All right. Okay, I'm not gonna build any militia or anything right now. Any, oh, we got idle villager right here. You can actually get wood. 
Alright, there he is. Okay. He's probably advancing right now, too. Uh, he doesn't have a barracks or anything. Uh, you should, I'm just looking for, like, if he has a barracks right now. Like, really early, then, you know, that could mean he'd be, he'd be doing some kind of rush. I mean, he would have already attacked by now, probably. Uh, looks like he just has this. Um, I'll check the gold. I had a villagerist, not good, so... We're about, to, we're about to finish advancing, so I'm going to quickly just um, research this. And we're going to immediately try to build like really, really quickly. So, we gotta, you got to get more wood. So, basically, I'm going to take a couple more villagers and tell them to get wood. And take, like, uh, let's see. Take some of these villagers here and just build... Um, some archery ranges. So this is almost done. So to make sure I start creating uh, builders when that's done. Uh, so I'm gonna build my archery range like pretty far forward. Then I'll build another one right after that. So this is almost done. So gotta start making builders. Uh, we'll research this, and we're looking good. <sighs> okay. So we're getting low on food here. So let's see. There's water, but no fish. So this kind of sucks. Um, let's see, let's see, uh, he advanced village now. Uh, where's the deer, man? So we're, we're when I hear like the villager being made noise, I'm just instantly just check to make sure there's another villager being made. Uh, where? All right, I guess there's no uh, deer. I'm gonna start making archers here and make sure we're making villagers. These people have been idle for a long time. I've just been looking for deer. For some reason, I just don't know how to make deer. So actually, I'll just start building um, farms, I guess. And this. all right. And then if I don't have I don't have enough, then I just make uh, uh, put them on something else. So these people are gonna go on to go here. Uh, so I'm gonna. Just so I have both of them selected, so I'm gonna press like A A S S A A S S. I mean, I, I'm trying to make more archers than skirmishers actually, but um, let's see. You can make a farm, okay? Don't make a farm. All right, we're reaching population limit actually, so I'm gonna build a house here. Um, yeah, see, we reached pretty limit because we're building from basically three buildings right now. So, um, so when I have enough wood, I'm gonna build a blacksmith but I'm gonna keep checking my thing but let's see what's going on here in this town okay, builder make units okay so he's getting st uh, gold here um, let's see so I think I heard my house being finished so I'm gonna build another house yeah see I'm not on top of it right now uh, so we're making stuff actually I could build another archery range honestly but oh we should build a blacksmith uh, blacksmith I don't know all the hockey, so. And I'll build a uh, market after, actually, so. We'll market right after it. Let's focus on that first. And, okay, so we have way too many on wood now, so actually we can just start getting it on food. And where's my Skaka Valley? Okay, so he's a barracks. He has a barracks. I think he's going to like a similar strategy as before. But I'm not building houses, man. I'm just trying to see what military. Oh yeah, so I think this is almost exactly like before. So he's probably gonna go really quickly to the castle age. So I'm gonna see if I can just attack him before he does not. Uh, let's attack right there. Let's see what else he has going on. I'm, gonna, I'm looking for his archery range. See, see what units he has. They're making villagers, making units. Okay, so he has that. Actually, I could probably just attack his stone and gold first. I don't see his um. Thing. Okay, so these are IL. I'm not taking good care of my books right now, but oh, yes, yes, he went quickly to Castle Age and he's gonna wrap up his army just like last, just like the other time. So I'm gonna see if I can attack him really quickly now when he has not that much army. So, yeah, this is Archer Range, yep, exactly. Okay, this guy, if I can just kill this guy. Oh no, he could have actually killed me. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing now. Okay, oh, Vildress. So you gotta keep on just checking, making sure you're building stuff. And I don't have uh, houses right now, so we gotta go back. Tell this guy build houses. Shoot, you build houses too. Do this. Uh, okay, you can build a house too. Make more units. Make sure we have houses. Okay, go back to the attack. 
Right, he's probably building units now, but see if he can disrupt his economy well enough. So I mean, I think most people say not to stay in the in the field for that long, but I like to just you know kind of do these attacks that they you know when they don't really have that much army. But he probably, he's probably building an archery somewhere else. I'm guessing. Uh, let's build more houses actually. Alright. Oh, so he's resorting to that now. Let's see. So I've disrupted his gold, I disrupted his wood. And we're continuously making units. See, I already have another army here, basically. Um, when that, that'll be done. So he's. Yeah, let's just continue this. At this point, I can probably start thinking about advancing. So basically, you know, I'm doing an attack and I'm trying to advance on the back of it. Basically, uh, so let's see if I can. Oh, so I need to do my little strategy that I do, which is probably not the best idea. But you know, I don't think this is a rely on the market that much. But right, I just need more gold. Oh, got build builders. I mean, at this point, you know, I actually didn't need build builders because we're, I'm thinking of advancing quickly. And I don't have wood. Okay, let's go back to attack. So we are kind of low on this. All right, we're gonna uh, after the village is done, I'm gonna just uh, advance. And he's building another archery. So yeah, he's he's really trying to ramp up his military right now. But you see, I was able to like because I know he was trying to go like really. He didn't have much army, and he was it seemed like he was basically going to the same strategy as, as the last. I mean, I guess they're the same AI, so it makes sense. But um. I was supposed to be able to attack him during a, a time where he didn't have much army and now his economy is kind of like getting affected. He can't really build stuff because he doesn't have villagers. He, and he keeps on canceling his, his buildings because he, you know, he can't build it there. And now on the top of this, uh, on the back of this, I have um, another round of people coming over. So, uh, and we're continuously just making stuff. See, I heard another army being made. Uh, blacksmith, uh, archers, you know, this research that. Let's go back. All right, so he's, he's soaring to this tactic. So I'm gonna try to do like a multi pronged attack here. So a couple people over here to destroy. So he's like three different resources in like one area. So if I just have these people here, he basically can't do any of that. And he has people getting stuff here, but I can just attack them. But basically, if you are able to affect his economy badly enough, he really needs to, he's really trying to build the other archery range right now, but I'm not letting him. Uh, so right after I advance, I'm gonna just research that research immediately. I might finish this game, play this game to the fi uh, the final thing. Bring back, bring this back. All right. So I don't know how many villages he really has left, but basically, uh, yeah, I think we gotta attack these here. Um, what else I, do? I was going to upgrade my. Cross, I think the crossbowmen. These elite skirmishers, bring them back. Bring these back. Town center. He's actually using the, the bell a lot. So, uh, let's see, this is done. So, start building villagers immediately again. I'm gonna focus on gold this time. Uh, actually, I like to start uh, building a town center right now. But I don't have wood. I don't even have stone either. Actually, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Check the attack. So, I might need a stronger army to kind of finish it off. Uh, so make another villager. Uh, let's see. I might as well research this. I'll research this because I'm focusing on archers right now. And I'll research this as well. But I can't. <sighs> okay, let's see, I don't know what where else he could be. So I'm just scouting to see where he is. Yeah, so his villagers are like mostly in the town center right now. Oh, not those villagers. You might, be reason, you might be wondering like why I'm not queuing up like a ton of villagers because I have um, so much food. Uh, it's because you know, as long as you have like one t like one villager being made, another one queued behind it, that's enough. And then you can focus your food on like other things like you know researching stuff. Because if I just keep on pressing A like all the time, you know I'll have all these villagers like about to be made, and I still have enough food to put on other things. So it's better to just have it like this. And so now I can be switched to that. Well, I'll just you know, continue building villagers. because villagers don't they don't cost they don't cost that much food. So, so oh, see, so here's the town. Here's the thing here. So scouting is important. So uh, 
to finish off buildings, you know, usually it's good to have these mana arms and, you know, the equivalent of them. So my resources are getting kind of high now. And I feel like I need to build uh, houses. So you see, like, now the game's getting a little bit more involved. So I gotta start, you know, focusing on stuff. I'm gonna start building cavalry, uh, researching, researching things. Why are you guys not? Oh, shoot. They can't. Okay, I'm about to kill off these soldiers actually. <laughs> I know I said they're the most important uh, unit, but uh, I didn't want to destroy a house. Let's keep making villagers. Uh, let's put them. Uh, we need more wood now, actually. So. Oh wow! I did not. I was not watching this. So. Yeah, basically, I need some. I need some champions or whatever they're called the infantry to kind of finish off this attack here i'm gonna bring some of these people back up over here and see i'm not looking my see my food is enormously high right now so i have to basically just research stuff you know that costs food so you know it's research stuff you, you don't want your food to be that high like that was actually really bad that my food is that high but basically yeah so i mean he resigned um uh, yeah, so you see he didn't really have anything because of the way uh, I timed the attack. That, that's why I like doing that attack because for people who want to just quickly get up to the castle age, they focus all their, research, all their resources into into just advancing as quickly as they can. And they usually don't have military. So that's why my attack was pretty successful from the beginning and I just kept on putting the pressure on him. But, I mean, he was also a standard AI, so they're not really that good actually. So um, Basically, if he kept on playing, my plan would have been to... Uh, just you know, make like a few more barracks and then start producing uh, long swordsmen or the fully upgraded version and then just start attacking his buildings. Um, yeah, he was really trying to go for that archer strategy. Like, I, sh I, sh I actually should have, I could have built, um, let's see, how many, oh, it doesn't show what is being made here, but, but yeah, I mean, if I'm looking at this game, I look at the replay, you know, I realize that my resources were getting kind of high at some points. So I want I should see like oh what is going on there like why my, why is my resources so high? But you don't want your resources to be like a thousand. That's just way too much. Like especially in the castle age, you should always be doing stuff with your with your money. I mean, you, you could say oh I'm gonna just queue up like a million villagers and my food will go down. And I'll feel happy. But you have one villager being created at one time and you have a ton of stuff just not ton of people just not being made. So your food is just not being utilized actually. So you should you should put your food to use on more, you know, on things that are more uh, immediate. So, you know, like building units or, you know, uh, researching stuff instead of just queuing up all your builds like that. So it's, it's, it's not good to like queue up stuff a lot. So if you if you find, because it doesn't make your stuff go any faster. Like if I have one villager and another one behind it, or if I have like a 10 villagers here, I, there's still only one villager being made at a time. So if I want to make a lot of villagers at, at once, I should make another town center, which I was actually playing, I was doing right here. Um, and that's why I had like multiple archery ranges, so I could build like multiple units uh, at once. Um, so I don't have like a queue of like a ton of things going on. Because I, I, I used to have that mistake to just building one military building and it's, and it's building like just one at a time and having like a ton of people queued up behind it. And then I'd be like, oh, my resources are so low, you know, I'm doing pretty good. But really, you're only building one at a time. It would be a lot better if you had two or three barracks and, you know, building like three um, champions at one time instead of like one champion with like a bunch behind it. And then, you know, your queue will be smaller. Like, it's not good to have really big queues. You know, just like in uh, real life, it's like annoying, you know. So, yeah, I mean, I guess that was a pretty normal game. Uh, I just did my normal attack and he wasn't, he didn't have military for it, so. Uh, he didn't have the economy to really mount any kind of defense against it, and uh, that's why I was able to win. So, yeah. So I guess uh, hopefully that was helpful. Um, yeah, I guess you can leave a comment if you want to see something else or something. Um, because I'm more of a like, I guess an aggressive kind of player, so I like to do like these kind of early attacks. Because you know, long when games get really long, I tend to get pretty fatigued pretty easily. <laughs> Um, uh, and you know, I, I just like to, you know, just try to do some early damage and try to just put the pressure on my opponent. I, I like playing like that, so, um, you know, I could probably learn, like, uh, other rushes and stuff and try to maybe show videos on them, but I don't know. But yeah, that's basically it. Um, thanks for watching. Uh,